for all of you. All greetings and respect to the genuine people of Bahrain, those, aspir those aspirants who consolidate principles, national and human rights that represent their dignity, their freedom, wishing them and our homeland all goodness and reconciliation in all national claims that implement their ambitions. The project of referendum has emerged from the fact of people's right of self-determination and this of electing the sort of the aspirations through the legitimate democratic mechanisms. Posing the referendum in the faithful and crucial phase to Bahrainis comes in the terms of current circumstances that are presented in the following. Firstly, the existing of foreign occupation in the country. Secondly, lack of stability, political, economic, and security one. Thirdly, the occurrence of damage, both the, the public and the private as a result of the status quo. Hence, a certainty has formed that the freedom should occur to pave the way the political stability in Bahrain. To ensure that the outputs of this referendum are impartial and equitable, the formation of an independent national committee to conduct it has been essential and necessary that we are honored to hold this historical responsibility in front of Allah first and in front of our people secondly, assuring to bear it with most honesty and proficiency, away from emotion and factionalisms, in order to keep the process of referendum smooth and to ensure its safety. In this conference, we are honored to provide some of the details related to the referendum. The referendum represents the step that is the most accepted legally, politically, and reasonably in this era when it comes to the administrating states and organizing the issues of people. It's regarded as firm human rights and one of these principles. Thus, the United Nations has organized and oversee many of referendums of many different nations which confirm this right and affirm it legitimate. Therefore, the referendum is a legitimate human right. It's legal and stipulated in the most of laws and constitutions that call for the right of self-determination and is confirmed by the international charts and convenience and stipulated by the international human rights laws. According to that, the role of the independent national committee in Bahrain for referendum has emerged to organize and supervise the process of national referendum. As members of this board, we would like to emphasize that we are going to do our mission with complete objectiveness, objective, objective, objectiveness and that we will not be affected by any ideological connections and will not take side to any of internal or external political inclinations that our mission will be technical and professional to keep and save all votes participating in the referendum. The committee would like also to declare that it has started forming agents and miniature boards that specified tasks will be assigned to, while decisions will stay, will stay subjected to the central committee. The committee would like also to confirm that it will announce in detail the steps it's going to take for a referendum and that will be accomplished later. In this conference, we would like to indicate three important messages. The first message is to the people of Bahrain. Participating in this referendum is a significant step in the history of Bahrain. It implements it implements the authentic right of people to choose their political risk representing them locally and internationally. Thus, the act of participation means the real desire of each one of choose to choose freely. So people should not hesitate, hesitate to choose the national interest they appraise away from any external influences. And we realize and believe that you people of Bahrain are, are capable of this historic national claim. The second message is to the institutions of civil society. All over the world, institutions of civil society have the role of rationalizing and instructing the community to apply 
to uplift nations and the institutions of the civil society in Bahrain future, the nobility and authentic authenticity in striving for the interests of people. All these features obligate them to work with ed dedication to call people to participate in whatever express their interest and the interest of the country. <coughs> and we are assured that the institution, the civil society are capable to this historic claim. The third message is to the United Nations, seeking to maintain the human rights and treating people with justice are the ultimate goal the United Nations has been established for. Hence we call on the Secretary General, permanent members and member states of the United Nations to regard and protect the referendum in Bahrain. We also implore them to recognize it and admitting its outputs, principally we will take into account the UN regulations and system for implementing the referendum and in according to legal and international standards. We accept from the Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, to do justice to this human, humanitarian national proposal that comes in the context of the people, you know, on the people's rights of self-determination. Finally, the huge interaction of people that follow the announcement of the referendum and the forming of the Independent National Committee in lies our responsibility, wherefore we'll do all for the supreme interest of our country. We would like also to thank all activists and supporters of human rights, all followers and attending media people, and we emphasize that we will declare all steps and procedures accompany, accompany the referendum during the next few days. The, independ the Independent National Committee for the Referendum in Bahrain, Tuesday 30th of September 2014.